Okay, so good morning, everyone. Uh, today I will present my work that I did with Carla Grigio, uh, Xiao Jun Pi, and Wendy Mackay. So first, uh, may I know how many of you use gesture keyboards or swipe or swift key for daily life? Okay, so I see a lot of hands raised. So thank you, and for those of you who don't know, so a gesture keyboard is a soft keyboard that lets you write a word by drawing a line that connects all the letters in, uh, in the word. So now imagine if you could uh, execute commands with gestures as you type. So here I am writing a sentence, the party was cool. Uh, and then, uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I will repeat. So uh, here I am writing the sentence, the party was cool. Uh, and I draw a simple gesture uh, to turn the word cool into red. And what if I forget the gesture to turn the text bold, for example? So I can just pause and a dynamic card will appear and show me the way. So on today's mobile phones, uh, we usually invoke commands from a menu. For example, if I want to change uh, the font to impact, uh, I need to display the menu first, and then uh, search for where the font is located in the menu. I tap to invoke it, and I finally tap on the text field to redisplay the keyboards again. So this process is cumbersome and slow for experts. We introduced Command Board, which offers the power of a command line interface on any mobile devices. Command Board transforms a gesture keyboard into an efficient and learn learnable, learnable command entry tool. Here I choose a gesture that turns the word music into bold. With gesture keyboards, we can draw a gesture on top of a soft keyboard to enter text and the text output is displayed on the output space above the keyboard. Command board creates an additional space above the keyboard for interpreting uh, freeform gestures. Together with the keyboard, they create an integrated command gesture space for invoking commands. We can think of this as extending a transparent inter interaction layer above the keyboard that only appears if the users light up when they are gesture typing. So users can still see the output display as usual, but they can also invoke gesture comments from the keyboard. <coughs> Comment board supports multiple comment entry techniques. I present two, te two useful techniques. The type and execute, and inline gesture shortcuts. So let's say here I am writing, I would like to see the, and then from that point, I want to change the font to impact. With the type and execute technique, I first type impact, and then I slide up, draw the execute gesture, and there, the font has been changed to impact. Now let's go step by step. When I gesture type, command board minds the first uh, words that is suggested by the keyboard to see if any is a, a, key, a keyword in the command space. So basically we check if the keyword already appears in the suggestion bar or not. The suggested words here sometimes auto-complete your gesture input. So you only need to write uh, the first few unique letters in a long command name, and then command board will suggest the full command for you. When I gesture type impact, which is a command name in this case, the command board will display a preview and store the command name in the command buffer. At this point, if I slide up, to the upper space, and then I draw the execute gestures, which is an upside down V, and then release my finger, the command is executed. And now the font has been changed to impact. 
if when I slide up, I draw another gesture aside from the execute gesture, for example here, I draw a straight line instead, command board will cancel both the word output and the command execution. Command board lets users switch seamlessly between typing and invoking commands. For example, in the case of an unwanted command preview appears, I can just ignore it and continue gesture typing as usual. And when I lift my finger from the keyboard area, the word output is displayed as text on the output space. And this is the second technique. With the inline gesture shortcut technique, you can type a word and then slide up to the display area and then draw a gesture shortcut. For example, that's the gesture shortcut for making a text bold. And then you apply the command to that word when you release your finger from the keyboard. Command board supports the transition from novices to experts. So in, uh, when we invoke a command uh, from menu, it is based on recognition. So the process often involves uh, searching with multiple steps, so it is slow for expert users. On the other hand, command board is based on recall that allows users to invoke command more efficiently. Here the challenge is how we support the learnability aspect of it. To help users learn and memorize the gesture shortcut, command board can be combined with dynamic guides such as Octopocus. So users can dwell above the keyboard to bring up the gesture, uh, the dynamic guide, which shows all available commands and the corresponding gesture shortcuts. So I can just follow the green strike through uh, gestures to apply the command to today. Command board can also be combined with other uh, dynamic guide techniques, for example, with a uh, marking menu that lets users to select a command by drawing a directional line. With marking menu, users can also select a menu from a hierarchical, uh, select a command from a hierarchical menu. We conducted an experiment to investigate the efficiency of command board uh, by comparing to uh, com command board to other recall-based command invocation technique. For example, we compare it to markdown symbols. Markdown symbols is available in uh, many chat applications, such as WhatsApp or Slack, to apply text formatting. Users type the markdown symbol before and after the word from the keyboard. So for example, here uh, I type as, uh, asterisk, cool, and then asterisk again, and then it turns the word cool into bold. Okay. The experiment is a within participant design with one factor, the command invocation technique. We measure the input time, that's the time users spend to write a word, and also the command selection time, the time users spend to select the command. We also count how many times the participants make uh, styling errors. And additionally, we also want to know if users prefer command board. We ask the participants to type three words, for example, 10 below zero, and apply text formatting to the second word. So we want to know if the technique is actually worth learning, is it actually faster for users, and to do this, we simulate uh, expert behavior by showing the correct action to measure the efficiency. For example, for the inline gesture shortcut condition, we display a dynamic guide that, show, uh, that shows the gesture shortcut that the users have to perform. And then for the markdown symbol condition, we show the symbols the participant need to write. This graph represents the input time for each technique and each word. The x-axis represents the technique, while the y-axis represents the input time in milliseconds. We found that inline gesture shortcut technique is significantly faster than markdown symbols. 
With the inline gesture shortcut technique, user can select a command almost twice as fast as markdown symbols. Users made significantly less styling error with the inline gesture shortcut technique. The average styling error per trial is 0.09 for inline gesture shortcut and 0.36 for markdown symbols. All the participants significantly preferred command board. They can fluidly select commands as they type and see all the possible gesture shortcuts. So what else can we do with command board? With command board, users can also type the menu names. And command board displays their item in the command bar. And to choose the option, users cross the option as they slide up and finally perform the execute gesture. Command board also lets users adjust command parameter, for example, changing the font size with a slide bar. So here I type uh, the command size and then I go up, perform the execute gesture, and then the slide bar appears and then I adjust the font size. Command board can also be used for easy mode switching, for example, from texting to doodle drawing. And then when you switch mode, the command space is also switched based on the mode, the active mode. If you would like to try uh, the system or you would like to, uh, to see more of it, you can visit our demo booth tonight. And finally, to summarize, Command Board links the keyboard and the display by creating integrated input space for invoking commands. And we found that Command Board's inline gesture te shortcut technique is significantly faster and less error prone than markdown symbols. Command Board techniques exist in harmony with menus and buttons and transition novices into power users. So that is for my talk, and I would be happy to take any uh, questions. Thank you. All right, thank you. Questions, anyone? No, what's wrong with the audience?